Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. Uh, thank you for watching, for the subscribers. I uh, hope that you tell your family and friends to subscribe and view. So I'm going to, on today I'm going to make some cheddar garlic, cream cheddar garlic biscuit. Cream cheddar garlic biscuits. I think I'm saying it right. Cream cheddar garlic biscuits. So I'm going to make my version of it. And, um, you know, it's a restaurant that's famous for them. But I'm going to try to duplicate. Just make my version of them. Uh, I also wanted to talk about this book that was given to me by someone. And it's called The White House Cookbook. The White House Cookbook, as you all can see. And there is a lot of information in this book. And it reads, it said, The White House Cookbook, a comprehensive cyclopedia of information for the home, containing cooking, toilet, and household recipes, menus, dinner giving, table etiquette, care of the sick, health suggestions, facts worth knowing, etc. Uh, by Hugo Zeman and Miss F.L. Gillette, steward of the White House. And this book, it was um, published, it was copyrighted in 1887 by F.L. Gillette, copyright in 1894 by the Warner Company, copyright in 1899 by the Warner Company, copyright in 1914 by F.L. Gillette, the copyright the last time in 1915 by the Southfield Publishing Company. And it said, to the wives of our presidents, those noble women who have graced the White House and whose names and memoirs are dear to all America. This volume is affectionately dedicated by the author. So this this book has a lot of information. It talks about carving, uh, the different cuts of meat. Uh, it talks about everything. Now, if you all get a closer look at the White House cookbook. Now, but I got to kind of really pay attention because it, it talks about a, when they give a measurement, it's a, uh, a cup full of this, a scant of that, uh, you know, so we don't talk in those terms. So I'm going to, every time I use this cookbook, I'm going to um, try to translate the language. So I will be doing some recipes and things out of this cookbook on this channel. So now, let's get to these cheddar garlic biscuits. And let, let me tell you what you're going to need. So what are you going to need for these biscuits? So I, in this bowl I have three cups of all-purpose flour. Three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm adding two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of bacon powder, two tablespoons of bacon powder, a tablespoon of granulated garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to mix those together, whisk those together. Now I'm going to add what I did here. I took a half a stick, a half a stick of salted butter, and I grated it. I grated while it was frozen. This was a regular grate. I'm going to add that. I just got started. You hear in the background. Y'all work with me. Work with me. One day I might be able to film by myself. So. I'm just going to take my whisk and kind of mix that together. I hope you all can hear me. Juanita, well, I, I wish you would try to stop her from crying. And then I'm going to add, I have eight ounces of cheddar cheese. I'm telling you all, this is a simple, quick and easy recipe. And I have a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. 
a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to pour that in here. Then I'm just going to mix it. Now you can add, if you want to, you can add, um, you can add, um, some oregano or some, what you call it, not oregano, yeah, oregano, or you can add some parsley, but I'm not going to add any of that in it. So, and I'm just going to use my hand and try to get this a good little mix. And you don't want to over mix it. You don't want to over mix it. You don't want to over mix it. And what I mix your kit now, so I had a half, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more of heavy whipping cream. Because I don't want it to spill. So sometimes you might have less or a little bit more, but I need a little bit more because I want it kind of a little sticky consistency. So that maybe was like a tablespoon more. I get all of it out of here. So you know what, folks? This is um uh, one pint. So you will be able to use that whole pint of heavy whipping cream. That's the measurement. So three cups of flour and a whole pint of heavy whipping cream. I don't want it. I don't want it um work it too much. You don't want it to be. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my mess up and get my prepare my pan. And I'll show you how when I prepare my pan. I thought I had the camera running, but apparently I did. So listen, let me just show you what I did. You preheat your oven to um. 400 degrees and all I did is use the scoop and made a little ball and put them in there. My, my camera, I didn't have the camera running, please forgive me. So I'm going back over what I just did. I just made them in a little ball as you can see. Put them in, and then I'm, I had that other uh, half a stick of butter, I melted it and I added some garlic, granulated garlic and then you just brush the your know, biscuits on with it. They ain't meant to be pretty. Now, like I say, pre oven at 400 degrees. I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll get back to you. So we're taking our biscuits out of the oven. And like I said, you could have added like some um, parsley or something on. I didn't. And then you just take some more butter garlic butter and rub it on top and I'm telling you they, it smells so good so 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 good I'm just taking the remainder of my butter that I had that I look they, they saw wow I'll get one out and break it open for you all to see. Ooh. Ooh, they, folks, they are very, very light. And when I say light, they are very light. As you can see, look at them. I hope you can see. I'm working this camera by myself. Are they fluffy? They are almost as good as, they probably is better 
if you make them at home, just as good as those at that restaurant or even better. I mean, they soft though. Oh my God, they soft. Hope you all can see I'm working this camera. How soft and look how they just fall. Look how buttery. Oh my, they are delicious. Remember, simple cooking with Aaron. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Folks, you can try these. Trust me. Try them at home. They are delicious. They soft. So remember, three cups of flour, uh, uh, a tablespoon of garlic powder, four, I mean, two tablespoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, a half a stick of frozen butter that I uh, grated, an eight ounce bag of cheddar cheese, eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, and a pint of heavy whipping cream. And that's all it is. You really just mix everything together. And then I use, remember I used the uh, ice cream scoop and scooped them out. They are really good. Trust me on it. They are very delicious. Please try this. And I thank you all for viewing and watching. I appreciate you all. Continue, uh, I continue to need your support, your family and friends' support. Tell somebody, if they have not tuned in, tell somebody to check out the channel. Love you all. Until we meet again, peace out.